Good morning to everyone. Thank you for you uh, stay here. Uh, I want to use my screen because I want to try about my and to be much shorter time. Uh, the paper is initial learning scenario based on the key evaluation of, for the course programming fundamentals and in a cap. This is in Chile. Uh, the presentation has the next items. The first part is the introduction. Well, the problematic is about rotation, rotation percentage. Uh, it should I talk about some factors such as students' discouragement, confusion regarding so so. So, with the intention is create a solution because the problem in the inner cup is the next 17.2% in technical training center and then 67% in technological university. Because the learning and teaching uh, activity in computer programming is not a simple activity. So the student and the teachers must go and face the frustration. Frustration is because there is a high demand of programmers in the industry and the economy of any country. So the field is automotive, academia, business. So it's important to trade with programmers. The idea is to uh, create initial learning scenarios using the evaluation and computational thinking because there is a relation between the skills with the programming knowledge. Uh, in the course, programming fundamentals, there, there are the objective, the next objective. We need a practical subject oriented to develop the logical thinking of the students through the analysis and problem solving. The fact problem solving is the fact because I create a relation in between the initial concept of computational thinking and the solver problem. And from the beginning, we introduce the concept the solver problem in the design system understand human behavior. So uh, the methodology is the next. And this side, I have the content in the learning unit, the topics, the organization in weeks, the presential activity and online activity, and the weeks. Uh, this, there are three ways to evaluate the students. Summative, if you check the students, it's 18%. The 20% is cited by the teacher in possible um, exposition or extra. I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Well, each thematic unit has a proposal, so I try to justify because use this region or question to evaluate the computational thinking in each unit, unit thematic. So, the idea is to create a methodology to propose efficient for the teachers and the students. Then I create or I propose eight scenarios where possible gaps are established from the beginning, in the middle, and the end of the course. With respect to the lunar learning units with the corresponding regions. So the idea is if you have the five regions correct. Possibly you have the ability to develop software. Possibly, it's not sure. But if you have the five regions in correct, possibly you need more more attention per session or more in classes. And if you have the first abstraction and evaluation regions correct, possibly you have uh, facility to create the initial part of the course on the medium or the high. So the scenario is. is the idea is to create the conditions to prepare to the teachers and the students in, during the course. Obviously, I need to measure the acceptance of the theory using this questionnaire in the middle of the course and this in the final of the course. The conclusion is about this proposal is, well, the learning scenarios for the new students of the course programming fundamentals and NACAP is the aims to the reduce the no not reduce the school drop up and hide the retention percentage. Uh, all the students who begin the course 
must answer the computational thinking evaluation online as an activity during the first week. Then stable the control and experimental groups. The experimental groups have the perf the perform the preventive action, not corrective, uh, or condition that considers the recommendation of each scenario for a section of the teacher. We expect to favor the motivation and the study autonomy to accredit the course and consequently decrease the presentation as we group up. And finally, what about the control groups and percentage of school growth and tradition must be observed compared with the historical data and last in the three or five years. Well, this work has been done within the PDH program, Knowledge Society, and particularly I want to say thank you and the Pacific Alliance and Ministry of the Relations Exteriors in Chile and University Technological University of Puerto um, Contact is uh, myself and the Dr. Francis. That is the first work. Now I want to pass it to the second. Well, in the second, if the intention is to Try to do an exercise of prediction. Well, the students make an evaluation of, of computational activity. This kind of result could, could be useful to predict the enrollment for the next semester of quarter in my test case. Due to computational thinking is strongly linked to problem solving, improving the ability to solve problems in the first university studies. Uh, the results in Roman and I'll say us. Better performance in education standards informatics between one and two years compared to the regular students. So I have results in Technological University of Puebla because I determine learning scenarios in the programming methodology course using evaluating, evaluation in thinking in two generations, 2016 and 2017. The, the poor results are recognizing previous skills and trying to correct those that are lacking. So the benefits are acquired competence respective, credit the groups, and improve the rotation percentage. So the question is, is it possible to predict what will be the impact to maintain or decrease enrollment during and the end of the course? Well, the aim is the result interpretation, interpretation of computational thinking evaluation in the students from the this generation 2018. Historical from the 29 to 2016 is in the median 31-13% is very high. So the skills for the evaluation of computational thinking are five. Abstraction, evaluation, decomposition, algorithmic design, and generalization. If you remember the last presentation, I present the reactors in the figure. So the idea is to create five groups based on the right questions and the evaluation for computational thinking. The group one, zero, answer right. So so far is question eight. But if you have the five right regions, add the way for five. In the group three, if you have an um, answer right, the uh, potential low. And the group four, good candidate, if you have just one in correct. And in the group five, two or three uh, heroes, so you need academic group. Uh, but creating three category in the category A, very probable school group O because you belong to the group one and three. And the category B, uh, maintainer for the next quarter is probably safe because you, are, you belong in the group two and four. And finally, the category C is the academic war in the group five, the, the permanence is there. The results from the 242 students is nine students, the third the per of is good label, 12 at weight, 48 potential low, 37 good candidate, and 136 academic work. So many students need 
to attention. <coughs> uh, for respect to the category, uh, uh, union the groups, uh, 57 in category A, 49 in B, and 136 in C. So the prediction is for the gener generation 2018, and by about 136 students. So many academic work for the teachers. The prediction uh, when finally finish the quarter for the, for the course uh, January 8, 2019, when the evaluation was measured, the results uh, are next. Just 39 students, not the 136, 39. For the category 8, the prediction was put out, but just three ground students considered the final prediction. And the safe and the variable is zero rounds, so the result is very good because from 33 students of the 39 students had a right prediction. In other words, the prediction had a success on 92.31% of an error on 7.69%. In this, in this sense, with the interpretation of the source of computational thinking, 23.55% uh, of rate had been possible in the 2018 generation with a success in the number. Conclusions The real values are. 325 students in the first quarter and 22 for the second. So we could produce maybe a low number of students in group of, but the condition hard, the condition uh, was hard academic work. The future work includes application, the stiff experience for the next generation in, in 2019. Uh, expand the student population, especially for those who answer the familiarity to the knowledge. Again, this work has been done with the Education Program Knowledge Society in San Marcos, Spain, and the Research Group Real and Technological University of Puerto Contact this with me, uh, Dr. Francisco, and these questions if you have. Okay,